Local residents back here in the capital were on edge, anticipating flooding from this weather system. Our Lloyd Allen canvassed the capital today to find out which areas were affected. Over the weekend, significant rainfall affected many areas across the capital. But in areas like this Hollywood subdivision on Monday, residents say they are still challenged with flooding. As our news team arrived to the area, we were greeted with stagnant water in some areas appearing higher than four inches. As we attempted to speak with a number of residents, the concerns flowed. Residents say they are frustrated. The water gets really, really bad. Like, this is not the worst. It gets sometimes too high where that the residents of this area, they have to stay home because the water is too high for their vehicles to go through. I've been in this area now um, about 15 years. Um, this is kind of like the worst that I've seen it. It's getting progressively worse. If you go to that side of the corner, that, that water would be at least two feet. <laughs> you guys come out the good time because normally you wouldn't be able to stand right here. For homeowners in this quiet Cowpen Road community, constant rainfall is always a nightmare. On the other side of town in the Fox Hill area, things were a little different. While there were some areas of intermittent flooding near Fox Hill North, residents were seeing a different tune in the south, closer to the Bahamas Department of Corrections. In recent weeks, the Ministry of Works has raised the level of this street. Many residents say that's a good thing. As you can see where I'm standing, this is nearly six inches of water. Just last year during Hurricane Dorian, and a few years ago during Matthew, residents say cars could not even pass in this area. In terms of the pedestrians, the water, the water that we, we experienced last night definitely would have the road flooded for about a week. This morning I surprised, most of the water has disappeared. Seems to me the elevation of the road is definitely working. Lloyd Allen, ZNS Network News.